Hi everyone. Uh, one last pattern for this week. Go to pattern-collections.com, scroll down to Pattern Focus. I am not using an app, I am just on the website. Just happen to be accessing it through my phone. Scroll down to the pattern for the day, which is Ringeli, Ringeli. Um, by Do Dorte Supel Cor. And if I didn't say who uh, did the last one, I apologize. I think I forgot to say who did it. But I, I, I apologize for that. Um, this one is a ribbon tangle, which I think will incorporate itself really well with our string. I'm just going to make my zigzaggy tail snaky shape even more snaky. Um, so you want a, a pretty sneaky snake, right? And then you're going to make little crescent auras or, or uh, echoes, sort of echo lines there. And then you want a little dot. Okay. And that's the end of it. Unless you decide you want to aura, which I will probably do or do something I'm going to somehow embellish. And here it is filled in with every other dot filled in and, and one side filled in dark, one side gray. I like that. I really like the, the organic nature of this one. And it's gonna fit really well. And it's the first one that we've come across that I think will actually really fit in uh, with the string. So, I don't know why there's a random piece of, I must have touched it with my pencil somewhere. Okay, so I need a triangle and a super curvy S because this is the string and it's got a triangle with an S shape. So I'm going to go with that. I'm gonna have a triangle, but I'm gonna have this S shape that's really quite more movement. So let me start here with a triangle. And I'm going to go way down and way up and way down. And maybe I'll end with another triangle. Like that. So I've taken the, the, the string and I've incorporated it even more. And that's how I'm going to make this live in my world. I want my triangle actually to be a little more narrow. So, so I'm going to adjust that. And same here, I want it to be a little more focused. There. And as long as my string ends up, I need to lift my arm so I'm not dragging on the table and making a bumpy spot. There. Something like that. And I'll let that set for a second and dry. Not that it nearly needs it, but and I'm going to erase the string. Some of you may have pens that need a moment to dry before you hit it with an eraser because otherwise you'll smear. Make sure you do that. Be, be aware of your tools. Um, your pens may not be the same as my pen, so you know, just be conscious. If you're going to use an eraser, make sure it's dry first. Put my eraser back in its baggie. I've been had a bad habit lately of leaving it out. And that is not good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, next step is going to be in the little arch. 
we are going to do an like that inside at the arch. Just like so. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. And then the next step is to put the dots. You know what? I need one right here. And I may even need a little one right there. Okay. So I want a dot. one right and there okay so far so good now we could just leave it at that that's the the main thing but you know I'm not gonna leave it like that because it looks like it really 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 wants auras or echo lines so it shall. Uh, it needs something here. I think I'm going to put another little triangle and then go ahead and put lines like that. So when we shade that, that will look more pyramid like. It's almost like a jump rope that's kind of been left loose. Um, but I think I want another set of lines here. Needs more. Need one there. And I think this time I'm going to go on the outside and really make a big thing in my bob here. So, that looks good for the moment. I need to take a little time out and I will be back in just a second. All right, so I had to take a momentary break. Well, for you it was momentary. For me it was about a half hour. But anyway, I'm back. Uh, what was I doing? I'm trying to remember what I was working on. I think I'm going to color in the middle one of this like that, like that, leaving me a little sparkle in the middle there. 
switch to my bigger pen so it won't take forever to draw or to color in. Always a good thing. Use your tools wisely. in there okay almost done Alrighty, um, do I want to do those little balls like every other one, like they did here? Let me look. No, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to make a, a thicker. Something like that, and I want to color in the middle of those triangles. I think that's good. Okay, a little bit of shading, and we're going to be, this puppy will be done. I'm going to say... my dark side and this is my not quite as dark side this is my dark side and my not as quite dark side and then I'm gonna have my dark bits here there here and there color in this one. And there. Okay. Blendy. Time for blendy. I got a little too much actually a little too dark on this side. I'm just gonna take take my eraser and just dab. I'm not even gonna erase really. I'm just gonna dab and then just make it a little bit lighter. Like that. That's better. Remember, if your blending step gets so dark that you can't, um, 
it, it's putting out actually more graphite than you would like. Um, you can clean it off by running it on a piece of emery board like this. Just give it a little sorrel on there. And that cleans off the tip. I don't know if you can see that. Cleans off the tip pretty well. And then you can come back here and you have a little less, you have more control over how much darkness you have. Like that. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Didn't blend this one. But I'm happy with that. Nice quick one. Easy to get finished tonight. I'm pooped. I'm really exhausted. So um, maybe next week we will be closer to being done, closer to being open, and closer to being not working so many hours. And I will be a happier person. Uh, I'm going to have it go this way. R I N G E L I string number twenty eight, right? Sign it. I used my fat pen, so it looks different, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. That ends that one for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. You have a blessed day. This one's going to be posted on Easter Sunday, so um, you know, I just pray that you've had a really great holiday today. Take a dime out today to just rest and relax and to enjoy your family and to do fun things, you know, with the kids, the grandkids, the neighbor kids, whichever kids might be in your, in your life. Um, take some time to really appreciate the family that you have. They do a lot for you. You guys have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.